Hey everyone, Kiwi Crypto Miner here. In this video, we are mining Dynex coin on uh, Nvidia cards. Uh, so the 3000 series cards that I have, and also the A2000. Um, so there's a couple little uh, tricks that you got to utilize to get the best um, efficiency um, on this algorithm at the moment. So yeah, we'll start off with the flight sheet that I'm in right now. So pretty standard in here, but you're configuring the pool on the miner. Um, your miner should look pretty much the exact same as this. Um, down in the extra configs, you've got um, pretty much just copy all of these. Um, and the adjustment of 1.1912 seems to be the number that is stable on every GPU. So chuck that in. Um, yeah, multi-GPU, just make sure that it's trying to detect multiple GPUs because this miner might not do it if you don't um, specify and also no CPU um, so it doesn't try and CPU mine uh, and then the pool is just specified in there and pretty much just copy everything else in there um, and then the other thing that you have to do is have another flight sheet um, which we're using lol miner just on Casper for this it's just a flight sheet that I already had um, and pretty much you're going to run this every time um, before you run the other flight sheet. Uh, so there are other ways to do this. You can use the um, other commands that are built into HiveOS to set um, clock speeds. But uh, this is the way that I uh, prefer to do it because uh, either one of them is going to kind of require action unless you start um, like action every time the rig reboots unless you start getting into scripting stuff. Um, and to be honest I can't be bothered scripting anything for this because it's probably going to get like an update in the miner or another miner is going to come out with a something to um, start like not needing to do that anymore because that's pretty much what, what's been happening with everything else like every time you have to write a command for something there's just been an update that comes out fairly soon that uh, gets rid of it so I'm not going to bother going into that kind of um, level of effort for this because I don't think it's going to be necessary for long but yeah pretty much every car that I've tested has been around that 1350 core clock and 810 memory clock so it's not it's not a memory intensive algorithm but it does require uh, large amounts of memory uh, which is kind of odd it sounds weird but um, cards that have more memory are performing much better on this algorithm so uh, this is the best performing one is the 3060 if we jump into my results here you can see this is the version of the miner that i'm using it's the uh, hash rate that i'm getting and that should be hash not mega hash um, and then we've got the wattage measured at the wall here um, so there's a little bit of funkiness with the wattage here as well because um, i've gone with the maximum wattage uh, subtracted the system idle but then we're just we're calculating it at about 80 percent because it's not at the maximum wattage all the time it um, does this thing where it'll sit at the maximum wattage like for maybe anywhere from five seconds to a minute uh, and then it'll just drop back down to about uh, about 42 to 52 watts um, it seems to be an inefficiency in the miner, so I imagine it's probably going to get solved pretty soon because, I mean, essentially it means the GPU isn't working as hard as it could be because it's it's just chilling for a little while, so uh, I imagine it's going to get fixed pretty quickly. But we'll, yeah, we'll see about that. Um, so at the moment I'm just, I've got it at 80%. Uh, it's hard to say how long it's not at the full power usage. Uh, it seems to be quite variable, so like 80-85% of the time it's probably at that, so um, yeah, it'll probably take it 80-85% um, of that power usage. I'll go 85 just to uh, try and be as accurate as possible, but yeah. Um, and then um, there's, oh, I should have shown it over here, the last setting that's in there is this core offset, so you can see in my spreadsheet here, so like the settings for the 3060, 1350 plus 300 and then 810 on the memory and then they've all got that 1.1912 for the uh, little um, 
argument that you have to put into the minor. So the 1350 plus 350, or three, sorry, 1350 plus 300 and 810, they are set up in this way. So the 1350 and 810 are set up in the uh, lol minor flight sheet and then you have to put in the dash dash no OC reset that way the OC that you set through lol minor stays and then you switch flight sheet to the um, Dynex flight sheet and then back in the HiveOS overclock screen you can uh, put in uh, 300 for the core or whatever it is for the GPU that you're using like the 3080 there was no benefit to going over 150 and for the 3060 it would reject shares going anything above 300 so that's the reason those two are a bit lower um, yeah so you can see the 3060 is ridiculous amounts more efficient than all the other cards uh, so pretty much don't bother using anything else on this algorithm uh, just chuck 3060s on it uh, although I have seen seen some other charts around that tout the 4070 as being the most efficient, um, so I imagine that's that's probably a thing. You know, the 40, 40 sorry 4070 Ti um, being the most efficient. Um, so I can't speak to that because I don't have a 4070 Ti, but yeah. Uh, so remember to use the lol minor flight sheet first with the OCs, otherwise you'll be a whole lot less efficient. Uh, remember to put in the argument for the uh, 1.1912 1 uh, into the flight sheet for Dynex, the adjustment, uh, because again that'll make you a whole lot less efficient if you don't have that in there. And yeah only put 3060s on this algorithm I wouldn't be putting anything else uh, and also just so you guys know the um, this miner does reject the first share it's like they call it a welcome share um, if I restart the miner right now you'll be able to see it rejects the first share um, automatically it's a little bit uh, unfortunate it doesn't quite say the clock speeds in here so if you want to have a look at your clock speeds, you actually have to um, go back a screen and then uh, type in NVIDIA info, which on a lot of other miners it just shows it in here, but obviously this is a bit of a newer miner, the Dynex Solve miner, so yeah, it's not the perfect miner, but I'm sure it'll uh, get better over time, or maybe other miners will adopt this algorithm hopefully. Um, you'll notice that you do get a bit of a high load average on this miner as well. So there's that to be aware of. Uh, but if we la wait a little bit longer, we should be able to get a rejected shear. Um, or I might even go through... So I just press Control A D there to go back. And you can type in NVIDIA info to get your clock speeds. Um, so you can see my 1350 plus 300 and my memory 810. Um, so that's where you can check that if you think that maybe your um, your uh, overclock settings aren't being applied or something, you can check it in there to make sure they actually are. Uh, and there, actually that's an invalid regular shear, so that's not what I wanted to show. Um, usually the first shear, there we go, shear ejected by pool with a reason, welcome, um, yeah, it's just, it's a welcome share they call it, so, so they're just going to reject your first share every time, um, not 100% sure why, but, uh, yeah, just says that, so that's fine, um, that on the other hand isn't so great, that's a rejected share, <laughs> but, uh, I'm sure that's not too much of an issue, um, the first thing to change, so the reason that I put that, um, this number here, the adjustment at 1.1912, you can put it down at 1.19, but there are some cards that will fail at that. So personally, when I'm um, overclocking, undervolting, and whatever, I like to have one point of failure. So this could be a point of failure if you put it down to 
Um, so I just put it at 1.1912. It's going to be ever so slightly less efficient. But then it puts my point of failure at the core offset. So if you try and copy these overclock settings and something crashes, what you need to do is reduce the core offset. So it's 300 right here. I just got a rejected share. I should probably reduce it to 250, you know, um, just to make it a bit more stable. Although this, these settings were actually working just fine a minute ago. And you can see I've now got an accepted share. Um, so I'll probably just leave it on this, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to give this a run overnight and see how it goes. Got 236 of these myself, so might as well turn them on. Um, yeah, I've got my uh, hash rate coming through at pool side here. Although I've been on and off because I've been testing, so it's it's not going to be the correct numbers or anything. But yeah, got some uh, shares starting to come through, and yeah, pretty cool to get uh, started on a new coin. Hopefully we don't get any more rejected shares like that one. But yeah, the welcome shares perfectly fine. And you can see uh, 3060, crazy efficient. Um, the 3060 Ti, 3070, and A2000 are all like pretty meh. They're not, not that great. Uh, and the 3080 does horrible on this algorithm. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got for this video. So leave a like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. And have a great day. See ya.